So our previous sessions were on a triple. The Yeshiva experience. Shemesh Chachomim Dibuk Chavein and Pirpala Tomidim. And now we're in a double. And at this stage of Kinyan Taira, of our wonderful Braisa, we deal with sets. Three, two, and after that, another set. So the set, which is 15 and 16, is Mikro and Mishnah. We all remember the Gemur and Kedush and Lama Damadalaf. Lo'olam yeshalash odam shenoisov. Shlish b'mikro, shlish b'mishnah, shlish b'talmud. Obviously, in the chronological order, first comes Mikro, and that is Torah, Nevi'im, and Ksuvim. Then comes Mishnah, then comes Talmud, that is the chronological order, and also the logical order, because Torah Shabal is actually commentary and interpretation of Torah Shabal Sav. And the essence, the fundamental essence of Torah Shabal is Mishnah and Gemara, and the Gemara's commentary on the Mishnah. The importance of Talmud, one cannot underrate or overrate. It is so essential. We are not karoim or tzedokim or baitosim. We believe in Torah Shabal Peh. Torah Shabal without Torah Shabal Peh has no significance. It is only our great sages, Chachameinu, Chazal, that have the authority to interpret every posuk in Tanakh, every one of the Tariyag mitzvahs. But still, Mikra comes before Mishnah, Mishnah comes before Talmud. So the Goen finds a remez about the centrality of Talmud. Mi aminoi eish das lamoi. Das lamoi, when we combine these two words, it's Oisius Talmud. So the Goan says, yes. In Pashas Vizaisa Bracha, we have Eremes about the centrality of Talmud. So as I explained, Mikro, then Mishnah, then Talmud. But in our Brice, we only have Mikro, Mishnah. What about Talmud? Let's go all the way back. The very first day. Number one in the list of the 48 is Talmud. I think, in practicality, Mikra comes before Mishnah. Mishnah comes before Talmud. Talmud is Gemara. But in the importance, Talmud comes before everything. Because Talmud essentially means two things. And I explained that in our very first day. Talmud is what we call the Gemara, but Talmud is also essentially called learning, trying to understand Torah. And that is why Talmud is taken out of number 17 and put all the way in the beginning. Number one on our list is Talmud. Because the essence of Torah Shaval is Talmud, and the essence of the learning experience is Talmud. And that is why Talmud is, one could say, Shalomim Komo, put at the very beginning of our list. So let's deal with Mikro and Mishnah. Number 15 is Mikro. In our Cheda system, in the Yeshiva system, we don't put much emphasis on Chumash, definitely not on Aviyah and Ksuvim. And we try as fast as possible to go to Mishnah, to go to Gemara. Well, I cannot say it's a mistake. That is the Mesodus in the Yeshiva world, more so in the Haredi Yeshiva system. Even though Mesechet Soifer and Perik Tezvav, we learn Mishnah, Kodemus le Talmud, Mikra, Kodem le Mishnah. That is our Messiahs. The Maharal in Derachayim and our Mishnah. 
has a very lengthy essay that Maran argues this is a mistake. We should learn the entire Mikro before going to Mishnah, the entirety of Mishnah before going to Gemara. And the Maral, who in many ways was a revolutionary, says this is a mistake. The Taisis Yamtev was one of the greatest disciples of the Maral, and he wrote his Perush on the Mishnayis, being encouraged to do so by his great Rebbe, because the Maral felt we don't put enough emphasis on Mishnayis. We learn Mishnah just in the context of learning Gemara. The Maral said no. The Derech of Chazal was Mikra in its entirety, in its depth, and then Mishnah, and only after Mishnah we go to Gemara. The Prima Godim, in his introduction to his unbelievable monumental Sefer on Shulchan Aruch complains that he himself didn't have a Rebbe to teach a Mikro properly. And he says, I heard that in the Sephardi communities, they put more emphasis on Mikro. And I praise them for that. And he complains with his great Anova, I myself, I don't have enough Bikiyas in Mikro, in Torah Shavachsav, because my Rebbe, when I was a child, didn't teach me. So the Prima Goda makes it clear. He thinks one should put more emphasis on Mikra. However, Toysis and Bova Basset have Kufyu Gimel write, Pa'omim Sha'amiroim Lohayu Bikim Bipsukim. Sometimes we find in Shas that even the great Amiroim weren't Boki in the Psukim. Some Achroinim are astounded by Toysis. Vichido in his Sefer Ayin Zeicher wonders how could Toysis say such a thing. Reb Chaim Palachi as well. The Orach Lener, one of the greatest Gedoyim in Germany, going back almost 200 years, Orach Lener Mesechet Nidid of Ayin Gimel, wonders and expresses the same bewilderment and my interpretation would be So in days of yore, Torah Shabalpeh was only oral transmission. They didn't write Torah Shabalpeh. It was a huge task and undertaking to memorize the entire Shas. Just think of it. It would be totally impossible for us. On the other hand, you are not allowed to recite them Baal Peh. So it would be so natural to understand that sometimes the Meruam weren't enough familiar with Torah Shavachsav because you can't hazard Torah Shavachsav Baal Peh. You could only read from the text. On the other hand, they need to invest huge koiches and resources and time just to memorize Shisha Sidra Mishnah and the entire Shas. So I think Toysis makes a lot of sense. And let us just realize Toysis writes Pe'omim. Toysis doesn't say them at all, we're in Boki in Tanakh. But sometimes, sometimes, they definitely were more Boki in Torah Shabalpeh, memorizing than Torah Shabachsav. Reb Chaim Evelazhen was the greatest Marvitz Torah in his time. The Evelazhen Yeshiva was the forerunner of all the Yeshivas and Ashkenaz in his era. Reb Chaim Evelazhen every day in the Yeshiva said a Shia and Chumash and Rashi. Reb Yitzhala, his great son, who succeeded him in the yeshiva did the same. His grandson, the Netziv, followed the same tradition every day in Velazhin. The Netziv gave a shir on Chumash. My great Rebbe, the Kloisim of a Rebbe, complained many times in public that today's yeshiva bochum are not enough familiar in Tanakh. So we need to find the right balance. A Talmud Chochem needs to be familiar in Tanakh. 
The Medri says in Shira Shira and Perik Dalet. Reb Chia and Reb Chalavta. Ma kala zu miskashetas v'chuv dalet kishutim. Ve'im chasra echad mehem ein la klum. Kach talmet chochem tzarich shiei boki v'chuv dalet svorim. Ve'im chosar echod mehem ein oi klum. That's harsh language. Ein oi klum. But what we learn from Chazal, yes. Mikro is important. And if you're not teached Mikro in the educational system, you need to do it on your own. Our Ikor Yegiya needs to be in Gemara and in Alocha, but you need to find some time to learn Tanakh as well. Some time ago, I finished Sefer Shmuel. Right now, I'm in the middle of Sefer Yehoshua. Many times I learned Tehillim with Rashi. One of the Memchas Dvorim Shatoyin and Iknais Behem is Mikro.